What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today's video is my January TBR and the first episode of the TBR games. If you haven't heard, I'm going to have games pick my TBR throughout the year. Just popping in really quick to say that I did have a whole video explaining this. It'll just be my resolutions video. I'm kind of up in the air with videos right now. So this is the announcement video, I guess, but I do have an official announcement video about the TBR games. Just wanted to clear that up really quick. Now continue the video. It's not going to be monthly, it's honestly just going to be when I have the time to do it. And I can't wait to bring you the first installment of this series, and this is Bookopoly. The first half of this video is a tutorial. I filmed the process of me creating my board. I strictly made this because when I was looking up how to make a Bookopoly board, I didn't see any, and so I decided to make one. So you can continue watching if you would like to watch the tutorial portion, but I will have a timestamp on the screen of when I start talking about my TBR and actually playing the game. Before I start, I want to shout out some booktubers that I know do game-related videos, starting with Becca and the Books, who I'm pretty sure is the person that started this trend. So I will link her video down below and her channel. I really love this. It's really fun, but I didn't think I would be able to stick to it for the whole year like her. So that's why I started doing games, because I was inspired by Library of Alexa, who has games picked her TBR. I loved watching all of her TBR videos. Recently she did a TBR video where she created a carnival, she bobbed for apples, she did the balloon darts, everything, and it was so fun. And I have some ideas that I wanted to do in 2020, so I thought that games would be perfect. So go check out Alexa's video. I just know that there's a lot of people on booktube who do bookopoly. It's not original, so I don't want anyone to think I'm stealing someone's idea because I feel like everyone does this now, but I did want to just shout out two of those booktubers and let's get into the tutorial. First, I created my community chest and chance cards. The chance cards have different prompts such as to read a middle grade book or to read a book that was published the year I started my booktube channel. For the community chess cards, I created prompts that would navigate me on the board, whether I would have to advance one place or go back three spaces. I wrote the prompts on blank paper, but you could easily use index cards too. Next is the biggest part of the project, which is creating the board. For the board, you will need a Monopoly board. This is optional, but it really helped me. I'm a visual person, so being able to have the Monopoly board as a visual while I created my board really helped me. So next you need dice. It's recommended to use two pairs of die, but I only had one, so I only used one. Next is a white poster board, a pencil for outlining, a ruler, and any coloring supplies you'd like to use. Starting off, I got the Monopoly board and I just placed it next to me so that I would be able to look back and forth as I was creating and it really helped me create the dimensions of the board that I wanted to make. So then I really started getting in with the dimensions. I'll have them up on the screen, but really if you have a Monopoly board, it'll be so much easier just to use those dimensions. But I just did that for the whole board and I ended up cutting my board in the middle just so that it would be smaller. And the Monopoly board that I had was about this size. It is 16 by 10. Next, I created the labels for the chance and community chess cards and I outlined the whole board in black Sharpie. I should start off by saying that I am not the most artistic person when it comes to drawing, but I don't own a printer, so I wasn't able to print things out, but I would suggest that if you are an artsy person or you're able to print out the logo, you should do that, um, but it's really up to you. But I just decided to trace the Monopoly logo from the Monopoly board I had, and I created Bookopoly, the logo. I also just touched up some of the line work that I messed up just to make sure that everything looked clear. 
Because I wanted to mimic the traditional Monopoly board, I created the jail, and this is something I'm so proud of. I love this so much. I'm going to be explaining the rules later in this video, but when you hit the jail, you have to read the lowest rated book on your Goodreads TBR. And next comes to the fun part where I was able to color in the whole board. But I did run into an issue, which was that I forgot to leave space for the spaces where it would be the chance and community chest because those are different. I really didn't do a lot of research before I did this. I really just like went into it blind. I did have some inspiration from a couple other booktubers, but in general, I just kind of did what I wanted to do. And I realized that I didn't color coordinate like most people do. Some people color coordinate based on genre like pink is for romance or red is for thriller i didn't do that i just colored it whatever i wanted and next time i wouldn't do that but i just ended up doing it mistake on my part but i don't think it's that big of a deal Okay, welcome to my board tour. I'm just gonna go through this pretty quickly. So here we go. First we have Go, which is just like the regular Monopoly where if I hit Go, I just have to restart and just re-roll the dice. Next is Net Galley Pick where I have to read a book off of my Net Galley shelf. Next is Gift, which is just a book that was gifted to me. For all the railroads, you have to read a book that involves travel, may it be vacation, just a road trip, flying, anything like that. Name in the title is pretty self-explanatory, but it is just to read a book with a name in the title. Five Star Prediction is a book that I predict I would give a five star rating. Next is Set Outside the U.S. where I just have to read a book that is set outside the U.S. Chance Card, I have to go here and pick a chance card. Jail, if I hit jail, I have to read a book that is the lowest rated on my Goodreads shelf. But if I'm just visiting, that switches where I have to read the highest rated on my Goodreads want to read shelf. Historical fiction. And then we have community chest where I just have to go here and it tells me what to do. Either I go forward or go backward or I have to go to go or jail, anything. <laughs> Next is to read a sequel, then a new to you author, which is just a new author that I haven't read before, an audiobook, a library book, a chance card set outside the US. For Goodreads pick, I'm going back to my want to read shelf and I'm putting in the number of books on that shelf into a number generator, picking the random number and whatever book is on the shelf I have to read. Next is free parking, which is just a freebie where I can read any book that I want. Instagram pick is to just run a poll on my Instagram story of two books and having my followers pick. Next is a sports related book, 2019 release, a book that has own voices, then we're back to the railroad, another chance card to read a graphic novel, a community chest card, and to go to jail. Then the last batch is to read an ARC, an own voices book. This is another freebie. Um, this is The Light. I forget what it means in Monopoly, but this is to read a book that was recently hyped. Another graphic novel, read a book by a trans or non-binary author, a non-fiction book, 
And last is a book with pink on the cover. So that was the tour of my board. I hope you guys enjoyed it and let's get back to the video. So that was the process of me making the board. It was really fun, but really time consuming. It took me like four or five days to do it. The fact that I was filming it is why it took longer, but it was really fun and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Now let's get to my TBR. I ended up rolling five times. So let's go to the first roll. First roll, I landed on one, and I was so happy about this because I got Net Galley pick, and there is a book on Net Galley that I've been meaning to read because it actually came out today. Today is January 1st, and this book is It's My Life by Stacey Rami. I have been meaning to get to this. This is about a girl named Jenna who has cerebral palsy. Jenna finds out that her cerebral palsy was caused by an injury during birth, and she ends up getting furious with her parents, and this is where the synopsis really rubs me the wrong way. So I'm hoping that the representation is good. I don't know how good I'm going to be with wrap ups this year, just because last year I didn't really do them, but maybe I'll do quarterly wrap ups for those as well, cause I'm gonna be doing them for my graphic novels. But for now, I'm just not sure what I'm gonna be doing with wrap ups. But if you wanna know my thoughts, definitely follow me on Goodreads. Next, I landed on set outside the US, and for this, I picked The Girl on the Train by Paula Hawkins, and I found out that this is set in London, England. This is an author that I mentioned in my 20 authors I would like to read in 2020. I'm excited to start off the year checking off one of the authors from my list. For the third role, I landed on Chance and the card said one word title. So I have to read a book with a one word title and I don't know which book I'm going to pick, but it's gonna be one of these. So I have Noggin by John Corey Whaley, Unleaving by Melissa Ostrom, Speak by Laura Hulse Anderson, and Breadcrumbs by Anne Arusso. I've had most of these books on my shelves for a couple years, but the book I think I'm going to go with is Noggin by John Corey Whaley. This is about a 16 year old boy named Travis who gets his head cut off and put into a freezer. So he was once dead and now he is alive again and his head is put onto another guy's body. So that's interesting. I love John Corey Whaley. I haven't read his books in quite a while and I've had this one on my shelves for a long time. I think of probably like three or four years. So I'm excited to finally get around to it. Next, I rolled on new to me author, and this is another author on my 20 authors I would like to read in 2020. So I'm going to be checking off two this month, and this is American Street by A.B. Zaboy. This is about a girl who leaves Haiti with her mother to go to Detroit, but while they're going, her mother is detained by US immigration. So the girl is staying with family who she's never met before, and it's just basically the process of that happening. And I've heard really good things about it, and I'm excited to read A.B. Zaboy. I actually started some of this in the summer, but I never got around to finishing it. So this month I will finally finish it or not. Maybe I won't read any of these books because I have no idea how my TBR is going to go, but I would like to complete at least some of them. The final role landed on library book and I chose In an Absent Dream by Shauna McGuire. I've had this since last year. Haha, uh -huh. um, but I've been meaning to get to it. It's very short and I'm just excited to read this because I love this series. So that was Bookopoly and the first episode of the TBR games. Make sure you hit subscribe and turn on my post notifications so you don't miss a video for the TBR games. I hope you guys are as excited as I am for this series. And if you are, give this video a thumbs up and definitely go check out the two booktubers that I mentioned in this video. Thank you all for watching. I have a Patreon if you would like to support me there. I hope you're all having a great day and I will see you next time. Bye.